All right. Been busy. Oh man, look at the giant hole over here. All those cinder blocks that were falling off their pallets. They have been moved. Yeah, this is, I, I'm, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. This giant stump pile, which I don't know if you can tell, that's as tall as I am. That's a massive stump. The stumps are gonna stay and the logs. That dividing line right there, this stuff's gonna go. That tree right there, he's gonna go. <sighs> These cinder blocks, yeah, I'm gonna move those too, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to get this prepped to punch this road in. Because it's kind of hard to make this turn in a pickup truck. And I want to be able to get a pickup truck up here. So eventually this tree, I think I've already talked about this, but that tree right there, that's going to go. And it's roots. Hopefully... I can get away with keeping this tree for now, even though it's a sketchy leaner. I just don't want to cut another damn tree down. But I'm hoping to kind of just take this road and just, just right through here. Kind of make a little T intersection out of her. That'd be nice. Well, that'd be, well, that'd be great. So here's some of the stuff I dug out. These are cast concrete, five gallon buckets. You can sit on it if you want to. But if you kind of look how the road is now, I just want it to have a nice sweeping S curve. Or a backwards S, I guess, depending on how you look at it. A little sweeper. And then I got to come back in here and adjust this bank. Added dirt out here. So I'm going to, I used the backhoe on that. That's all right. We'll get to her. Go look at my cinder block uh, collection. There's a concrete ball. So I had to restack all this stuff today. That was fun. I tried one more course tall on it, just about is the tipping capacity of my machine. But most of these are pretty decent. Some of them have a little bit of concrete on them, like that's got a little concrete. Could be cleaned off. Other than that, they're basically pristine. I mean, so, like I said, some of these do have a little concrete. That's why they're set on top. But like everything below is just, they were just loose stacked. I don't quite understand. I mean, I do understand, but I don't understand why they did what they did. But like that building right there, there was a building there before. And that's what this all came out of. They just like loose stacked it. It was like, I can't describe the building to you. You wouldn't believe me if I actually did describe it, but it was like the craziest thing ever. Anywho, net result is I have, I think I did the math. It's like not quite 200 cinder blocks. I'll come up with something for them. I don't know what, but for now they're sitting kind of right there. That's why I built this area is to have place to put the stuff you know cinder blocks don't fall off pallets when they're on a flat ground or if I would have had a flat ground to set them the first time they wouldn't have fallen off the pallets and I would still you know I wouldn't have to spend the whole day pumping cinder blocks around like a maniac so yeah good times it's like I get a saw up here and chop up some of this old garbage but yeah man whoo I don't know how hot it got today, almost 100 degrees, I think. I swear to God, just a boiler. But yeah, I think I just, I think I just take this, take this curve and just make a nice round, just a, like a rip, rip, right up there. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? I think it'd be fantastic. Now, I may not get to this this year. I got some other stuff coming up here pretty quick. But until that next part starts, I gotta do something. So I figured I'd get this all ready to go. So when I got the time to do it, it'd just be a quick knock the tree down, dig the stump out, celebrate. I might take that tree down. That won't be too hard to do. Like that's 
probably not gonna kill me if it lands on me. All these dead trees, I'm just gonna leave them up for now because they take up less space when they're up in the air. I don't stand over there very often, so I don't think it's gonna land on me. But yeah, good times. I'm trying to figure out how to make a 10 minute video out of this. I don't think I'm going to. Make a five minute video out of it. You know, all these things are kind of funny. They had. Ooh, that just creaked. <laughs> Hello, friend. You need to fall down around and I'm sitting here videotaping you. Uh -uh. Wouldn't that be something? Anyways. They used to have a walking path around the front of the house. And these are all concrete. I mean, nothing fancy. They just took a shovel, dug a hole, and poured concrete in it. And, but they're stepping stones. So that's what all those are. I've put a few back. They're kind of a pain in the ass to put back, but... I guess. Stepping stones are stepping stones. I got some flagstone over here, too. I always want to do something cool with it. Make sure I'm not going to get crushed. Got these flagstones, I guess that's what they're called. So I always wanted to... Like, what's crazy is before I did all these projects here, I took all those flagstones and made a sweet, a sweet trail. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. We got time. We got time. So you got to get in your, you got to go in your Wayback Machine, and you got to remember, even though you don't remember, but pretend to remember, before the addition that you see right there was on, it was just a two-car garage, single story, flat roof, with skylights that leaked and was an absolute disaster. I mean, when I say absolute disaster, think of the most disastrous thing you could think of, and this was worse than that. But anywho, there was a staircase that came up to the garden right here. The staircase is still here. Like, if you kind of look, there's a tree growing there, but right in here, I kept the staircase in here. Cause like, I'm gonna tear it out and I can get right. But anyways, the staircase kind of had a sweep to it. And I took those flagstones and I had an S curve. It was really nice. And I literally did it like the year before I tore all this out and built all this. <laughs> I worked real hard on it. But yeah, like all this has been added. Like this, this width here. I mean, the staircase used to come straight up. It was all staircase to about like right here. And then it kind of leveled off a little tiny bit. And this used to roll off. I've added dirt. Like every, I still do it. Every year I take dirt and I put it on this edge. And I'm, I'm just building it up and building it up slowly and slowly. Uh, this fence used to be way farther out. I'm going to get yelled by the wren. This fence used to be out here on that side of the tree. That was like two years ago I moved that in. But what I'm trying to do is make a water retention from the water coming down. Plus like lawnmower. So like, like it's, it's hard to believe, but like. This trail I'm on used to be a deer's trail. Just wedged in the side of this bank. I'm not even making that up at all. It was like a walking path. Just like the bank came down, there was like a little tiny walking path and the bank kept going. And I've added all this dirt. The bank used to cut straight through here. I've cut that out, added that. Added all this dirt, made the path around. Cause this was just like a billy goat here, hill here. I actually did some dirt work down here this year already. Ooh. Fill that guy in. Um, you can see all this loose dirt. You just kind of sprinkle on top of the grass that's growing and it, it grows through. But I did a, a, quite a bit of dirt down here, raised this up a few inches. Try to fix this railroad tie, which wasn't doing very good. <laughs> like, that's my fix. How about that? Two chunks of random concrete and some lag bolts. <laughs> Collar call good. That's what we're doing. Oh, there's a rock right there. We'll see that rock. Don't leave that. I haven't seeded this because I'm still trying to bring this up. Yeah, I'm cut that trail in there too. But yeah, it's, it's a slow process. I mean, I suppose a person could do it all in one day, I guess. I don't know how you do it. The problem is it's really hard to get back here. I mean, I've got the mule now, which makes it a lot easier, but originally I did not have the mule, so it was like... It was wheelbarrow for a long time, and then I got a little trailer for my lawn tractor and did that for a long time. And now I got the mule, which makes it way easier. But I this robin's eggs have hatched. 
Is that nest looks crooked to me. I don't think there's any, any babies in there. Oh no, there's eggs in there. So those eggs are still going. I checked down here earlier on these babies down here and they're, they're just sitting there staring at me. So I don't know what's going on. I think it's a lot of sun back there. We'll walk down here and take a quick peek and then we'll end this video. Add a rock to the driveway. Mom was sitting in the nest with all the babies. They just sat there and stared at me. I don't know what it's going to be like this time. Let's see if I can remember where they are. There they are. Mama's not happy. Did you see her get all up front with me? She's not having that. Baby's right there. See her? She's right above my finger. She's giving me the evil eye. my fingernail. Alright, we're gonna back off because I'm about to get my eyes pecked out. <laughs> uh, good times. Went way too long. Stay safe.